where we're seeing companies, especially in the fast moving consumer goods sector, you know, how they're kind of adapting to this kind of increased demand for content. First, the companies that are winning are focusing on an enterprise wide focus on winning the digital shelf. And the more that the stakeholders across your under, organization understand their role and have KPIs measured for the effectiveness of the digital shelf, the more likely you're going to get this right. The second area is this idea of shifting to agile mo operating models. Companies are learning how to do more test and learn, um, doing proofs of concept, even letting themselves fail. Organizations are shifting to a more agile operating model, empowering contributors throughout this digital shelf content supply chain to make pivots along the way to make sure that they're delivering the best for their end customer or retailer. The third big trend is data readiness, thinking about the PIM and the DAM. So typically those are two separate systems. Those are managed by different teams, created by different teams. And so the data readiness across those two systems are really important because to the consumer or the retailer on the digital shelf, it's one and the same. They want the pictures right. and the words together. You're really starting to see the best of breed companies focusing on this, not in silos, yeah. but across the two. The fourth theme, you cannot go a day not hearing about these technologies, especially in AI and automation. You're seeing companies bring in these digital technologies to pretty much streamline this content creation and distribution on both ends of that. It's exploding. These organizations are investing in these technologies. If they have these technologies, they're now investing in getting more ROI and better adoption. Companies are investing in change management. They can't just buy this great technology. That isn't enough. In, in order Absolutely. to be able to create content at scale and manage content at scale, everybody needs to learn new skills. But the fifth trend we're seeing is organizations are realizing that they've got to focus on not only this amazing content for your amazing product, but they realize now like, wow, we've got to invest workflow, process, energy, time, expertise into our channel retailer specific content and our data-driven content. If you're not on the first page of search, your product doesn't exist to over 83% of consumers. It isn't just enough, I hate to say it, to have amazing imagery and photography and specs and all these things about your product if you don't know how to make it retailer specific such that you move up their algorithm and search and you don't know how to ingest data signals like search terms and content health scorecards if you can't ingest that information and put that back into your content creation and content management and distribution workflow then you're not going to be successful so the companies that are winning are focusing here